Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War, a legendary Iron Man playthrough, Titan for Operation Little Cavern, where we're going in to seize a couple of advent resources. Barrier and sealed armor will make it very difficult to get anything through uh, the enemy's defenses, <clears throat> but we are going to be rewarded with big fat enemy material. Four to five crates is the baseline that we're trying again. And yeah, five turns evac, so we're going to hopefully be successful here. And then whoever finishes that will be deployed right next to the next mission. So we have plenty to do and little time to spare. Let's go. Good, the timer, <clears throat> as always, does not start until we forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply uh, getting the crates area. and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves locate and mark the crates with transponders and firebrand will handle the rest good we're Oscar miking and Moving out. let's get into a good position running double shinobi this time which will be interesting. Aviator Position moves confirmed. to the front line. AA run. Affirmative. Moving out. That's a rookie right here. Good copy. Moving on target. Valley locks and Quake interesting composition pretty much the bottom of the barrel type of composition got a graveyard over there and straight up a map that goes into this direction that's the end of the map it's relatively large into this direction Hmm. Go, go, go. <clears throat> Good question. Let's put Quake over here. Affirmative covering now. Affirmative covering is on the prize. Good. The idea is we want crates as many as possible. Two are already here. This might just be a perfect start because of uh, the amount of damage that we would deal to both of them. Uh, we still have command, so there is plenty that we can do. Let's start. Burning on the Viper, no burning on the Sector. Now burning on the sector as well. Okay, we're good. We are good. I will say though that one of the Shinobis, John in this case, needs to actually uh, start losing concealment. Okay. Well, it's not good. We don't have strong anti um, anti mechanical options. Moves that. to here. Hopefully, we can have our protocol. Oh, that is good. Perfect. The drone will be very helpful going forward. I hope it's worth it. Baldi Locks uh, will mark a crate next turn because we're just staying here. How many is that now? Oh. 
And we're moving forward with our Psy Operative. Got two more crates over here, which I think we could take. Got a group of hostiles over here. But also got hostiles. Alright, end of turn. Need to take care of something. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, back. Sorry for the interruption. <clears throat> so basically, what happened is this, this pack moved in, but they are not fully triggered yet at the moment. <clears throat> They're just standing here. This is a graphical glitch. And picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is on route. Let's to do first things first. Evac punctually. This here should be good. There we go. Oh no. Well, hmm. Maybe that wasn't so, oh no. Let's move to here and let's do a little stunner. Two rounds and the rock tier will not do anything. Team working over. Here I come. Moves to here. And I think this is a perfect spot. To almost wipe out the entire pack. Unless they leave us no choice, we should try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home. Anything. Well, that was one crate that uh, went, and we, by the way, couldn't have gotten it unless we were sprinting there. So, calm your pants a little bit. I'm going. Right, engineer not happening. I hope it's worth it. In the meantime, Quake moves up, and unless that's a hundred percent shot, which it is, so that will be a kill. Good. Look, Ataxia begins to move in deeper. End of turn. We're going to lose another crate. So two down, but I think we got one or two already. Remember the target is four to five. First crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. Okay, so clearly we need to move up a bit more. It is clear. Moving up. Uh, 
before we're moving, let me scout out if uh, we're running into enemies. Nothing. Okay. What's over there? Okay, so I got one. Could you use some ammo over here? Tired of waiting around. Mark the crate. Aviator Location begins confirmed. to move up and grab some loot. Not very good loot, unfortunately. One crate has just ballooned to two, three, four. Four crates. Not bad for a start. Not bad at all. One, two, three, four. No, it's five actually. Five crates for us. and gets a few more crates. But so do we. And we got one freshly marked over there. The this might trigger the drone. Good we Stole the mar uh, the crate. How many more turns? Drone will be off end of this turn. So we're moving over. Stay in the open, so let's do fortify. But equally, don't want to risk not reaching both of them with the center of the explosion. Uh, good damage. Is it clear? One down, thousands to go. Drone is down. Let's do this. And listen. Um, moving over here. Just in case we're triggering something. Mind merge. Let's Double checking that we're not triggering something. Okay. Oh, come on, really? Well, never mind. <coughs> we'll kill the drone next turn. Big deal. My weapon's spent. 
There's another crate, so we might want to fight over here. I got enemy movement here. Mm, mm. Mm. Triple pack and we can't even engage. I do have an idea. It's not the most heroic one, but it is uh, surely a tactic that works. And it's called Tactical Retreat. Smoke grenade would be perfect. <clears throat> mm, heavy weapons, no, don't have smoke grenade yet. Hunker down. One overwatch. Roger, and we're just <clears throat> accepting the amount of crates that we do have. I'm all right. Sometimes, instead of wanting more and more, what you do have is already good. See, when I think about um, missions, <clears throat> it's always a trade-off between what's the potential advantage that we could gain or what's the risk. And sometimes the risk is just not worth it. move to here but I am afraid that that might trigger other packs could always move them back so we're okay crowd control <clears throat> so you're telling me both of you did not start to burn Okay. Got another flashbang. For good measure. What's over there? Okay, we can kill the Naja if we want. I'm certainly not going to charge in. <coughs> Is down. That's a good chance to completely disable him. So instead of damage, we're just trying to crowd control. There you go. Panicked. Perfect. And believe it or not, we're just going to move back because I don't want to trigger another pack. The van may, might get reaction shots and other stupid things I'm going to wait and next round is an evacuation and we're just going to take the six crates which is already exceeding the expectations that we had yes there had been more crates and yes in a perfect world we could have gotten them but don't trade in a flawless mission for this is firebrand. A few it's time to go. crates. Time to 
these soldiers will be needed on another mission. Critical hits. I'm gone. Ready to boogie. Get in there now. Hey, take a look at this. You can't handle They've me. got eyes on me. Packing it in. I'm going. Good. So make sure kill XP and we're good to go. Yeah, there were two further packs and we still had a couple of um, consumables so we could have taken them on but it was only one more turn until the entire team would have, uh, would have uh, gotten into reinforcement mode and I really didn't want that. Cool, all of the promotions uh, due to Ataxia's uh, trial by fire. Like what I'm seeing. Baldilox got promoted to an assault. Okay, interesting. Aviator. The concussion rocket is interesting as well. Uh, doesn't have burnout, but that extra uh, concussion rocket worked relatively well so far. Might want to do tandem warheads because we do have a lot of rockets. You know what? Why not? I'll just. Uh, try to build Aviator a bit different. He also got a flashbang for free, so that's not bad. And Vega here gets a promotion as well. See, and we still, we still got okay loot out of it. Sure, you could have gotten more, um, but that's the point. You can always get more. When is enough enough? Twelve out of twelve. Yes. Cool, sure, you could uh, do that. Infiltrate it. Okay, since so much is infiltrated, might as well help you guys with bond training. I don't like that these guys are taking so long for training. So the idea now would be for the psionic characters. Let's not interrupt the training. Let's just continuously train um, unless uh, unless there's an absolute emergency. And we do have enough uh, psionic characters uh, to basically go around and um, help the teams out. The other slight regret that I do have is the Proving Grounds. I think we need to speed this one up because there are a lot of good items that we could get. Is it worth two though? There are diminishing returns. Maybe I will do a bit of this here. It still takes a lot of time to get that uh, uh, that thing built out, but soon another 
engineer is going to help once the infirmary is up and running. And just getting quicker projects, halving the time is well worth it. Okay. So, Event puts reinforcements in here, Operation Demon Dream, but the problem is 1 hour 17, too little to, uh, to do something about it. We finally got ourselves a Mac. Um, 200 supplies for radio relay. That's tempting. That's tempting. Mm -hmm. So what's our next uh, call? We we do have uh, the liberation missions that are starting in both of uh, the regions, so that's fine. Got a lot of recruitment uh, going on. Might as well Renman with uh, since he has full. Um, full willpower. I might as well put him in here to recruit a bit faster. He doesn't need to to gain any willpower. Same over here. Um, no new recruits here. What I would say is we had a new Squaddy, Bali locks here. To be entirely honest, I would not have made him an assault. Nothing against assaults, they are okay. But my main point is, I think we uh, need a bit more pure damage uh, dealers. And if we look at our roster, let's talk about rosters real quick. Like, assaults are fine. Um, they uh, specifically, once they are at high level, they are ultra strong with the, um, with the um, uh, lightning charges, I think what it's called, with the abilities, chain lightning. Fantastic, really good absolute uh, stunning ability but that's master sergeant level they're also good with rapid fire and they generally can uh, hold on hold their own now there is a however to it if i look at the other classes and just what is what is desperately needed given that we do have uh, later very very tough uh, single target uh, uh, damage that is single target um, damage that we will need to deal. Um, I am personally a big fan of gunners because they have the most multi-shot abilities and rangers because they also do have quite a few multi-shot abilities. Sharpshooters are fine as well. We do have a fair share of them and they are really good just as anchors in the map and um, once they do have serial or in the zone they can just clear the uh, the entire leftovers. So those classes is what I'm specifically looking for. I would like to get a couple more gunners uh, going, I think. Personally, one of my stronger favorite classes in Long War of the Chosen, so I would want to um, uh, focus on that. Which means when we're now getting more uh, recruits, might want to go with more gunners one two three four five six seven eight definitely got enough shinobis by now two more gunners would be good and then it is whatever so assaults not bad but not uh, what i have been hoping for so to speak i think given that um, we're infiltrating might as well heal a little bit in the meantime, 
or sell some stuff at the black market. Avenger you know what? Just board. in case. And then we're healing afterwards. Market is open. Uh, well, we got a lot of trooper corpses. I'll keep the cores for now. Is there anything that, that, that they are interested in? Nothing. Good, just in case we need something. I'll save some of the Elarium cores because I want to pull, uh, pull out uh, or produce a couple of sparks and that will require a lot of that material. Okay, well, heal faster it is. New Indonesia is now able to be recruited that is fantastic i think that means we got a recruitment here 70 aim uh, that's exactly what a gunner uh, would uh, say there you go hmm yeah, fantastic. More faceless ones. But faceless ones aren't bad. Uh, they no longer give mimic beacons. You need gatekeepers for that in this mod, but uh, they give chameleon suits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Commander, we've just made contact with a new faction of the resistance known as the Reapers. Mm -hmm. They're an elusive bunch, but this is their headquarters. We can scan at this location now to start benefiting from our newfound cooperation. We may have chosen a different My people have thrown off the shackles of alien oppression. And through discipline, we have survived. Nice. We don't rely on the alien's technology. I would like to hunt the hunter. We are the hunters. We move in the shadows. Superior PCS for five days. Wow, that is good. Resistance contact isn't bad. Recruit engineer is actually very good, but high failure chance as well. Stat boost. Ooh. 12 dodge. Now that's cool. Steal corpses, recruit rebel uh, rebels. Uh, gain ability points is one that I value a lot as well. Um, but what I value um, above everything else is getting ready to hunt the Chosen. Okay, uh, who goes on to this mission? How about you, Wheeler? And you're being supported by... A Shinobi. Looks good. And looks good to me. 23% chance for an ambush. I'm fine with it. Let's find the chosen. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Very good. And in the meantime, we got ourselves Anna Scythe Reap, uh, Johnson. Jansen. So, advanced form of concealment that lasts two turns. Uh, the concealment isn't happening for a long uh, period of time. Skirmishers are no different. I don't trust them. And I don't like sending my people out hand in hand with them. That said, 
They're definitely loyal to the commander. And they can put up a hell of a fight. Good. A powerful chain shot ability for every kill made with your vector rifle. Your actions will be fully refunded. That in itself is great. Uh, Silent Killer is good as well. So I like both of them. Your range attacks armor piercing and is good against uh, covered units. Throw a knife uh, so that an enemy cannot move. The whole knife skills aren't bad either. I actually like them. Uh, they are pretty good. S plus one damage to throwing knives and provides an additional throwing knife. If killed with primary uh, weapon, grants another knife. Good together with cereal. I like that. And the knives, I think, do not, uh, per definition, um, break concealment. I'm pretty sure that is how it works. Increased mobility, free action, four turns cooldown. Okay. That's not bad either, if you want to play him as a medic. Five aims, throwing a grenade, no longer ends the, no longer ends the turn, and grenades have no cooldown. In addition, you can throw three tiles further. That's not a bad ability. They actually have a couple of really nice abilities uh, for uh, for them. So let's go from top to bottom. I want to... Uh, the serial one is too good to not just take that. Silent Killer is also very very good so uh, that's the, uh, for a starter already now we still got by the way paramedic and field medic would mean that <clears throat> she would run around with like a med kit that has five charges and she can dash and just heal everyone that's a cool combination as well licking her wounds Not bad. Not bad either. Okay, so attacks deal plus two damage and then ignore up to dodge if the target has been wounded this turn. That's not bad together uh, with uh, cereal. So I really like that. But I also like the knife juggler uh, part. Because then we do have additional knives available. And knives, if I recall correctly, were quite strong. Specifically later, throwing a knife um, once a turn, gain a bonus action after throwing a knife at an enemy, cannot trigger. Yeah, I remember you can then throw a knife and then get the normal uh, shot. When you get a kill with a throwing knife, reduce the shadow cooldown by one, which keeps you in the shadows and gain a stackable uh, aim buff that one is great. So all you need to do is kill with a knife and then you can continue. Death from above also very very good. Serial however is the cheaper version. Doesn't always trigger but uh, my experience is you don't necessarily need it every single round. Uh, this has a five turns cooldown, so granted, it's a, it's a bit much. This one isn't bad either. You get one mobility, five aim, so that's a stat boost per se. That's already not bad for ten, uh, for ten points, right? <clears throat> Throwing a grenade is now a, uh, a blue action. In addition, you can throw. Uh, grenades three tiles further which is good and uh, the radius is increased by one which is very much like the skirmisher and you gain a grenade only slot on top of it where essentially you just get a, a free grenade so that's super strong as well the question is do we want to use her more kind of in a support uh, route which uh, I think 
that would be an interesting way of going about it or do we want kind of the silent assassin because if we want the silence assassin then blood trail is definitely needed uh, to damage and ignore a lot of dodge just when they have been wounded is too good to pass by interestingly enough you could do that <coughs> throw a uh, throw a grenade and then kind of um, uh, I, um, injure everyone and since they have already been injured right uh, you would uh, then kick in cereal and just clean up uh, the the entire map with it that's not bad i like the shooting sharp as well for kind of that scenario um, throwing a grenade and then beginning to uh, to clean uh, clean that up so if we go down the uh, support route then that that and the ghost grenade it doesn't sound bad either rapid deployment makes this here even better because um, if you have a support grenade then you can do that use that for free then throw a grenade so that's a very action efficient um, uh, action efficient route on the other hand the whole killing and then regaining actions isn't bad either and we don't need to talk about banish right so uh, that in itself is absolutely ridiculously crazy so I like what I'm seeing at the moment of course some of these things aren't bad as well but i think i i believe we can use her as a cleanup um, mechanism and i also want to test out the knife skills how good they are so if that's the case um, increasing the knives and increasing the normal shots would be not a bad uh, way to start right uh, that crippling knife cool um, but not as good as just bonus uh, damage and the ability to um, whenever you kill something with a primary weapon to get a knife back and I think at some point the knives get uh, normal actions once per turn uh, gain a bonus action after throwing a knife at an enemy cannot trigger yeah okay so that that's essentially you just throw the knife you just need to be close enough and then throw the knife and uh, get a bonus action you can use that in order to kill if you have cereal up that's good uh, and that will give you more knives so that's actually a cool combination when you get a kill with throwing knife it also reduces the shadow cooldown and you get a stackable aim so she doesn't have that much problem with aim later on that is also really really good so maybe we're just going to use the sales slash saboteur uh, tour round, uh, route and combine the um, uh, abilities here that light them up i can i can see a lot of options like you're you're sneaking up right and you're standing next to an enemy in a flanking position and then light them up uh, take, uh, takes a shot does not end the turn okay then uh, throws, an, uh, throws a knife, um, gets a bonus action uh, by doing uh, by doing that in itself. Um, or, you know, uh, you, you do that. Uh, if the knife kills, uh, you get two actions. No, you get one action, but your shadow uh, um, reduces. And if the knife doesn't kill, you also get a standard um, a normal action thanks to knife encounters and you can continue hitting then you do have serial on top of it uh, which allows you uh, to then continue with that one thing that's missing is implacable well i think the build uh, makes a lot of sense now we want blood trail yes please for extra damage and uh, knife juggler will be the next one that we're getting okay cool cool like what i'm seeing so in terms of squad uh, management 
The Ultramarines currently have uh, the Skirmisher. Let's take the psychers uh, out. Psychers uh, are not permanent members of a SWAT. We're just um, juggling them around. I'm wondering who uh, should get her. I think the Grey Knights uh, too would be the right team for that. And that gives uh, Johnny Five enough time to train. Uh, hmm. Also an interesting question. They already do have a... They already do have a uh, Shinobi here. So do we really need a Reaper? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we have a Shinobi in almost any constellation. Imperial Fists do not have one. But theoretically, we could um, let Ataxia go and help uh, the lower level characters. Uh, because you will get a lot of mileage out of Trial by Fire that way. Might be the right thing. Hmm. She comes in as a sergeant rank, so she's already very much usable. Let's put her into the Blood Angels and... Taxia helps the Imperial Fists going forward. Together with Zirkem and Baldilox. Good. Very good. As you can see, I've already put in more chapters. As we're growing, there will be more. Trying to keep one hero class per chapter, not sure if that is uh, the best way of doing it, but it certainly is one that works for now. You guys can continue to infiltrate. We could also, I think, do the mission, but further infiltration will uh, reduce uh, the enemy strength, so might as well do that. All right, continue. The cooperation of these extremists will do little to unite the forces of your resistance, Commander. Good. Boost the infiltration. We're at 111 percent, and those four. I remember that was Igor had death from above, and we're going to go in with Igor. Okay, and dying loyalty that will be tough, but we do have. 18 enemies and we need to hack the workstation do we have no we don't even have a hacker well that's going to be a fun mission the next time thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the content as always and uh, see you in the next episode bye bye